When I bought the used work cart that had turned into the now retired welding bench five years ago, it came with some junk. Some scrap pieces of steel and screws, but what was most notable were these high powered cable shoes. And since I can't throw stuff away, I've been trying to find a use for them ever since. Fast forward to a while ago when I realized that if you connect two of them with a screw, you get a hinge. And you can also connect the other side with a pipe. And this kind of looks like a finger joint. So why not try and make a hand? Now we have all the parts for the fingers. And you might wonder why there's so many different lengths of rods. And that's because the fingers are in different lengths. And I just took my hand as a template and measured that and got up this weird sketch of, of different measurements. And since this is the smallest piece you can make with these cable shoes, everything has to be scaled up from that. Learn the fingers need to be spaced more apart if we're gonna keep the size of the wing nuts. And we need to bend these ones to go into the center. And I don't know what we're gonna do about the thumb, but this might actually work perhaps. I feel I'm gonna take it apart and put it back together a lot of times. Okay, so this is rather more hand adjacent, I would say. I mean, yeah, I realized that my pinky is not in line with the other fingers. It's quite a bit down. So I guess I have to shorten the pinky finger a bit because this, not, this does not look like a pinky. It just looks more like the, the middle finger actually. So yeah. And the nuts, I think we're gonna lose those and go back to the washers because uh, this is not going to work, because the fingers are just going to be all wibbling. And that's not nice for anyone. But yeah, making some progress. Might want to shave a couple of millimeters off the wing nuts as well. Mm, going to do some tests and see if they're still movable by hand, because that's the whole purpose of having them. Because... It is a bit conflicting between the fingers. But yeah, slow progress, but progress. So here we have it back together again. I was going to go back to the washers, but then I realized I had this 8mm pipe that fits perfectly over the threaded rod. So I cut that into equal pieces, and yeah, I think I like it, even though the knuckles aren't as beefy as they were before. As you can see, I accidentally put it back left-handed, but it's just a matter of adjusting the fingers. Uh, then it can be either right or left-handed, at least at this point. Because now we're at the wrist. And I need to fit these four pipes into one of these. So this means bending some pipes. 
Wish me luck. To keep the pipe from breaking, I'm putting in this wire because I'm not going to be bothered to try and fill it with sand because that's not going to work that well either. And since I just want to bend the end, I'm putting the bigger pipe over to give me more leverage. As you see, the arm design is much simpler than that of the hand, because arms are simpler than hands. You might wonder, did he get the proportions wrong? But no, this is not a traditional horizontal arm, it's a vertical one. I got the design to this from Nord Artisan. Link to his video in the description. So you take the arm and attach it to your belt, or just put it down your pants, whatever you're comfortable with. And with a jacket over it, it's held into place. While I was making this, the Hacksmith released their video on dual robotic arms, functioning at that, way cooler than mine. But their awesome prosthetic hands left one thing to desire, custom fingertips. So let's show them how it can be done. Having adjustable fingertips is one of those things where robots really can outperform us humans. I mean here we have screwdrivers, flat and phillips, and even a bit holder for the thumb. Or maybe you want to be a razor girl and have an exacto knife literally at your fingertips at all times. Well, this way is possible. But I mean in all fairness this is just fun and games. If you want to see a real robotic hand with some real struggles, you should check out Ian Davis of Missing Parts Club. He is making some really, really cool mechanical robot hands, or specifically a hand for himself, because he lost some digits. Uh, and now he's trying to make something that a lot of people can use. So really check his video out, link in the description. But this, as I said, is just fun and games. But hopefully, it can brighten someone's day. Or at least, look a bit cool. Even though it might not be something to phone home about. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice whatever you're having. Let's take this on for a spin.